Now, this story had people on social media going wild. A man dressed in a black robe and what appeared to be a mask, or his face was actually covered, was walking around in the States dropping raw meat around. Now, people were taking photos of the figure and posting it to social media going, WTF, this what's happening? This is Biltong happening? before it's cool, the hipster <laughs> Biltong guy. <laughs> so they didn't know what was going on. Apparently, it was just um, <laughs> a student doing a school project. But I want to know, like, what school project would make you dress in a robe and walk around and drop well, meat? Well, this Numpty's cover story apparently was that it's it's um, it's a witch ritual. Now, I know people in Wiccan culture, they went, mm -mm -mm. at no point does the Dark Lord want you to summon Cerberus the evil hellhound with actual meat. <laughs> so so no point is it that. Did you have any third eye? Any? If it I was, if it was a witch ritual, and you said it's a school project, he obviously goes to Hogwarts. Yeah, I mean, because that's a Death Eater, right? Frickin' yes, there, that's Voldemort's kid, Hogwarts right there. School, that's fine. But I mean, he's and he's dropping off, he's dropping chunks of raw meat on school playgrounds, which I suppose is better than the alternative where meat is being put on your kids. But, I mean, at least the playgrounds were empty. How is that the alternative? From a playground to kids? Because you leave the meat there, it's meat. It's not like it's suddenly going to rear up and it, it's not like he was dropping an attack steak. Maybe he was, he was, he was protesting veganism by dressing But like how is this a school them? project? What was <laughs> I want to know what school it is. What what is Hogwarts? Or maybe he's testing what meat does. Entropy, entropy, the way the way it decomposes. I think yes. it was an art project, personally, performance art, school project. Oh yeah, you could do, do anything something and obscure until art. they start talking about it on the internet. I think and the opening line of the brief the teacher gave started with the words, "Wait, I've got that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, so meat, right? I had a teacher like that actually. Yeah. <laughs> I think anybody who studied art had a teacher <laughs> like that. Or maybe he knew there was porn on the internet and he'd heard that it was people flinging their meat around. And <laughs> yes. Whipping, and he was like, yes. And he's a dark hooded figure. Yes. So this is this is usually a, bigger. A Lord of the Rings <laughs> theme. Bigger than Terrence, Terrence Howard. Howard. Yes. <laughs> what would happen if this occurred in South Africa? Somebody would eat the meat. Yeah. We would well, we'd, 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 we'd have a bry. Yeah. A cup of bry. What, do we know what kind of meat would it was? People would be thanking him. Yeah, please he'd come here. He'd be like the meat fairy. <laughs> he'd be hey, mauled it like by the homeless, let's be honest. <laughs> you, you'd be, yeah, it'd be like Easter. You'd like hope for the meat dropping man to come <laughs> past. <laughs> and then once a year at Easter, yeah. the steak man comes. Yeah, the steaks are high for him. Yeah. <laughs> they call him the rump wrangler. But it's like Gastonia, North Carolina. I mean, obviously this happened below the Mason-Dixon line because this is not something that would happen in the north of the U.S. Well, Somebody yeah. did that in New York, he'd be mauled by attack squirrels. Yeah, or the homeless. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a bunch of vegans. Why is the vegan Why are the homeless people dogs? Him. They're like, no, rawr, 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 rawr. Yes. and that's how they eat. Yes. Uh, I've seen it have in no stories. decorum. I step away from that. <laughs> then once, you're, once you're homeless, <laughs> the first casualty is table manners. We're suppose. being very sarcastic. Yeah. Okay. Thank mm. you. Well, I mean, this wouldn't have, you can't do this in California. People are going, oh, excuse me, is, is that kosher? Is that halal? You can't just drop that anyway. Just pick it up and take it back to your house. I still want to know what kind of meat it was. Was it a ribeye <laughs> steak? Or was it a <laughs> fowl? I get the feeling that it's a student. So either his dad opened up the chest freezer and went, damn it, where's my steak? Or yeah. he just found the cheapest height that he could find. That's why there's still meat after he left it. No animal's gone... Oh no, this, but also, what is this, Chuck? It was Norox. How did this become viral in the first place? Because Who's people were freaked out that this figure was walking around dropping meat everywhere. Wouldn't and you be freaked out? Surely, uh, this is North Carolina, they have guns. I mean, surely some guy with a cloak yeah, armed with, with meat products. You, you just go say to your dog, fetch. Well, and I mean... We, we, just do, do the dog thing, do the dog thing again. <laughs> just be... Oh, <laughs> He's Japanese. Got a Japanese no, he's got dog. a Japanese dog in North Carolina. Yes. Yeah. And why not if you can <laughs> against its will? Shih Tzu, go do your thing. Oh, Kushina. 